Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2024, looking at some of the new features in this particular version of the program. Now in other tutorials, we're going to look at in more detail the photo reel and the color match tools that have been added here in version 2024. But in this session, I want to take a more general look at some of the other new features that are appearing here in this version of the program. One feature you're going to notice right away is the new interface. It's much brighter and cleaner. There's much less color in the interface itself, but it's designed to be cleaner and smoother and more modern. It also has the option of going to a dark interface. And you can do that simply by going to the preferences, which are located under the edit menu on a PC. Or you can just go up to the little sunshine in the upper right hand corner of the program. That will open up your preferences. And here we can set it from light to dark mode. Now this will entail restarting the program. So I'm just going to click OK, shut down the program. We'll restart it. And here is the dark version of the program. Whichever interface you prefer is entirely up to you. The darker version is a little cleaner, a little easier to see, but the light version also has its advantages too. But you have the option here between light and dark. Once again, we'll click on the little icon in the upper right hand corner, open up preferences, set it to light mode, click OK and relaunch the program. Now, another tool that is not really a new tool, but one that's been modified and added to the program is its one-click selection tool. You'll find that under the select menu. In the last version of the program, they added automatic select for subject. So there you can select subject and in one click does a pretty good job of selecting the main subject in your picture. But new to version 2024, you can also select the background We'll throw away that selection and go to a new selection. There we go. Now we've got the background selected, everything except the subject in the picture. And if there was a sky, we would also have the option of selecting the sky. Let's deselect that by Control D or Command D. Finally, there is the integration of Adobe Stock, which is actually a pretty big deal here in the program. If you have a need for stock photography, Stock photos and stock images are now available to you through Adobe Stocks collection. You just go to the File menu. They're actually located at a couple of spots here in the program. But if you look under the File menu and you search on Adobe Stock, you open up the library where you can look up pretty much anything. For instance, if you wanted to replace your sky with a new sky, SKY Sky, and you've got a lot of sky images. You could do a search on puppies. Lots of puppy images for you. Or you can do a search on something more obscure like love. They even have a collection of love images. These are available to you directly through the program. They can be used in the program and they can be used in pretty much any project you're working on, even a work for hire. So Adobe Stock now integrated in Photoshop Elements. That's a very cool, very big deal. Now, if you want to know more about all of the uh, new features here in the program or all the features in general, you'll want to check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about this program, You'll want to pick up a copy of the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. That's available on Amazon.com. I'm Steve. I'm the guy who wrote the book. And I hope to see you again real soon, hopefully at MoviePix.